and gentlemen. And welcome to this closing ceremony okay, for this particular FSUF Cultural and Exploration Tour. First of all, I would like to thank Professor Chong, the Dean for FBF, Faculty of Business and Finance, Mr. Peter Tan, Deputy Dean for Faculty, Business and Finance, and Professor Dean Pas Bobadila, the Dean for College of Business and Accountancy, MSUF. We are very happy that you can spend your afternoon here for this particular event. Thank you very much. First of all, let me invite Prof. Professor Cho to give a short welcoming speech to the delegates of MSUF. we celebrated our 10 years uh, anniversary. So they have, uh, we managed to meet them and we start our collaboration uh, about our credit transfer and our asset study transfer. And back then uh, we start to negotiate, uh, discuss and then we come up with this uh, study trail, which uh, our host university will responsible and provide some accommodation, accommodation and then uh, training to our students. Okay, so with that, I think we started our first uh, trip uh, in 2013, last year. And the first batch from Philippines, uh, our student from MSEUF in May. Yes, and then we always send a group of students to MSEUF in September, end of September. Oh, it means you met them. Yeah. Oh, that's good. So this time uh, you come back here. Do you meet any students around here? No, oh. oh, okay, good. <laughs> So I hope that, okay, this collaboration will continue. Yes, uh, of course, we will welcome more and more students to join us. And of course, uh, based on our feedback last year, I think we have uh, quite many students, but unfortunately we have to cut until about 10 students so that uh, we can go to visit uh, MSUM. But of course, this time, I think I discussed with Prof. Uh, Dean Park, saying that if we have more than 10 students, let them to go, but of course they need to pay a certain amount of uh, uh, money so that they can uh, enjoy the trip. Of course, no I think free lunch in the world. They need to enjoy it and then of course they need to pay. But it's worth it because if they pay, they're just uh, uh, at a minimum amount, but they can enjoy a great, uh, what we call, they can get a great experience from our partner, okay, in Philippines. Okay. So I will inform that uh, you already have uh, gone through about one week uh, a program and you visited a few companies in KL, I think maybe yesterday or the day or yesterday. I hope you enjoyed the trip and you hope that you can join with our students, okay, you have students, and not only stop here after you go back and forget them, you have a Facebook, <laughs> yes, so you may contact them. Uh, invite them to join their, your Facebook and so on, okay? And then let us have this uh, collaboration then to be continued, okay? So with this, again, I would like to thank uh, all the committee's uh, members who are involved in organizing this study trail, either from the Philippines uh, or SOU. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 
Thank you, Professor Chung. Next, I would like to invite Professor Dean Pass to give a speak. Education. Through the years, MSEUF has always lived up to its commitment to education by setting standards and going beyond the on time. And passion for excellence is bringing us more ambitious goals and innovations. I can show the old accomplishment of the Manuelson Bergen University Foundation as a premier university in the Philippines. We are progressing and meeting the demands of globalization. We are eager in our efforts to develop leaders in the professions. We are forever driven to pursue for the production of knowledge in wise discipline. A university of integrity will live up to our purpose of empowering the community. Definitely, our vision for quality education has seen a pursuit to shine in terms of instruction, research, and community service to show will surely carry on. Empowerment. When Wallace and Bergen University Foundation fulfills its goal of developing students' passion for excellence, passion, commitment, loyalty, and discipline, creativity, and critical thinking to wish their dreams and be part of the world. With its distinct competitiveness, the Manuelis and Bergen University Foundation truly provides a culture where students can be built in to build their solid future. With respect for human dignity, morals and sensitivity, and recognition of cultural differences, we value camaraderie and goodwill, solidarity and understanding. So that's where my, uh, we, excellence. Uh, student. Our drive for excellence is powered by our vision of molding professionals who are ready for the world. We share a common vision to achieve our dreams as obstacles and challenges threaten us. We continue to raise new learning, we explore, discover and adjusted in a rapid changing world. When Wallace and Berger University Foundation organized its academic units to ensure global competitiveness, the, uh, students of each of the 12 colleges and more than 300 faculties have earned their master's and doctorate degrees through its sense of pride and expertise. To become a world-class institution of knowledge and higher learning, Manuel Simberg and University Foundation is taking great strides towards excellence. 
Manuel Osinberger University Foundation leads fine-tuned thinking outside the box. Our goal is to broaden students' horizon and lead them to a better future. We continue to be one of the country's top universities through creativity and innovation. Realize our global potential, lead to newer heights to reach our dreams. This is the Manuel Sinvergas University Foundation. Chinese 
And I'm telling to my, my students that really, it would be a nice experience to have, to have that. That's why uh, a while ago, I asked the, uh, the name of the foods that we ate because we're going to prepare an album and then to be submitted to RDP for uh, external relation. So that's uh, what uh, the project or the, the output of this activity. And also I want to thank the, the students who were with us to welcome us during the, the first day. So uh, later, uh, we'll have the uh, another presentation because it will not be your turn to visit our school. That's why we have some presentation for you so that you will be enticed to uh, visit us. So thank you very much. Professor Dipas. Next, we go to the next event, where exchange of souvenirs between MSUF and UHA. I would like to invite Professor Chung and once again Professor Dipas for this particular event. First of all, is the presentation of Utah gifts or Utah souvenir to MSU. We are looking forward to more partnership in the future. Yours very sincerely, Naila E. Leberisa, President. Professor Chung and Professor Dean Pass, please take a seat. Next, we shall move to the presentation of the tour report by the 
MSUF delegates. First of all, I would like to invite Miss Anna Karenina Ruiz. First of all, I'd like to greet everyone who is in this auditorium of a pleasant afternoon uh, to our Dean, um, Dean Paz, to our uh, Deputy Dean, to the Organizing Committee, to the um, other students, and uh, also Mr. Quek, and uh, Faisal and Isad, and also to my uh, fellow uh, schoolmates who are with me today for the uh, closing ceremony of our um, study program. So uh, my first, my name is Anna Karinina M. Ruiz uh, from the College of Arts and Sciences in Manuel S. Inver in Virga University Foundation. I am currently a senior, uh, I am a psychology major, and um, despite being only one of the, one psychology major in this batch, um, I am very happy, and I am very pleased to uh, know more things and about uh, business and finance in this, uh, in this university, because, uh, I'm very happy that uh, it will open a lot of opportunities also for me as a student. So, um, to proceed, so just like any other um, planned endeavors, we all have objectives when we do things. And just like um, going here, going to this cultural, um, cultural program, um, I've set myself three objectives, and these are to explore and appreciate the culture of Malaysia. Second is to expose myself to Malaysian education. And third is to build global networks and lasting connections. So to further, to um, in order for me to materialize all these objectives, uh, I've also had these expectations before I went here. Uh, in Malaysia and so first of my my first expectation is that I am going to adjust myself to the Malaysian culture um, uh, to start the Malaysian culture is not very much um, alike to the Philippines well the weather here in Malaysia is uh, much like in the Philippines because it's also humid, but then the culture, since the uh, the religion here is Islam, while the religion in our place is uh, Christian or Catholic, so there there ha there had been uh, changes, slight changes, and so these expectations about the culture of Malaysia includes what I've said, the religion, um, Islam, the food, especially the food. I've, um, I've, never, I've never thought that um, Malaysian food could be this um, delicious and also uh, very tasty. And I've um, appreciated Malay, uh, Mal Malaysian, Indian and Chinese food when we went to the different restaurants that um, for the past few days and nights. And also, one of my expectations is that 
um, I will be also I will be able to see the different structures in Malaysia, and especially um, Petronas Sour. Um, we went to Kuala Lumpur the, the, um, on yesterday and the other day, and I've I've seen all these structures in the city, and I'm really I'm really glad because it's all so majestic and beautiful. So the second, my second expectation is that to experience first-hand academic and extracurricular curricular activities in the university. So uh, I'm, I'm very happy and pleased that I was able to be part of the lectures that, um, that, that tell us about soft skills. Uh, because back in the in our university, we don't have these uh, soft skills. Uh, we only have uh, general subjects that that also include soft skills, but then um, does not really emphasize these skills that are very important, um, not only in the university but also in the professional world. Um, but then again, uh, I'd also would like that um, our group would be able to. Uh, observe in a classroom setting and to be able to participate in the different activities here in the uni here in the university especially that I'm a psych major and I've seen that um, this week is that the psychology week for uh, for the psych majors so I'd also like to experience that thirdly is to meet new friends and company I am very pleased that um, during our first um, visit here in the uh, in the university during our activities, um, it was also uh, welcoming the students, the organizing committee, for being very bubbly and very accommodating to to us, to my schoolmates. So I'm expecting that um, we will be able to continue this not only here, not on, not only in the in Malaysia, but also when we go back to the Philippines because. There's always the Facebook, there's always the internet, and um, what um, it's much better to be able to form these relationships um, when we are not together, so that we will, we will still be able to learn much more from each other. And so, um, um, to end my, my speech, um, I'd like to say, Terima kasih. Meaning, maraming maraming salamat in Filipino. Thank you very much and good afternoon. Thank you, Miss Anna, for the presentation. Next, I would like to invite Miss Diwana Autova. Good afternoon. I am Diwana C. Antovar, a fourth year student of Manuel Sinberg University Foundation. I am a fourth year student of Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, major in Management Accounting. So I believe that for everything that we do, we have a, we have different objectives in order to to make it efficient and and effective for what we are doing. So, I have a lot of objectives. In my report. So first is to gain deep, deeper understanding of the culture through, social, through academic social activities and cultural activities. Second, To broaden my cultural awareness through interaction with students and to explore the differences between Philippines and Malaysia in its different perspectives. So, 
aside from objectives, I have also my expectations in in joining this study tour program. So first is to gain new friends. So I am very happy that in our first day of stay here in, in your university, the students that we had interacted are very, they they welcome us in in a warm manner and they they are so, so kind and hospitable. Second, have an observation in classroom lectures and discussions. And third, have fun. So my expectations are beyond of what I have expected. Since I, I have said that as one of my expectations, I'm expecting to have an observation with the classes, but then we didn't do it. But still, I feel on how the instructions and the lessons are done because of the workshops that we had with Mr. Mr. Quek, Ms. Perima, and Ms. Erika. I think that being her student would be the mutual feeling when we are having an, a workshop with, with them. So wearing that ID <laughs> makes me feel that I am one of the students here in Yatar. The lessons that and the lectures and the workshops I had, I believe that it would be a great contribution and, and it had a great, great impact in my growth as a human being. The skills workshops will help me to achieve my goals and become successful in the near future. So that's all. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Diwana. Next, I want to invite Mr. Juan Felipe Valdonina. Valdonino. Um, good, good afternoon, everyone. Assalamu alaikum, rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Juan Felipe Baldovino, Dori and Virga University. My expectations. Uh, first is the food, spicy foods. <laughs> My expectation before coming to Malaysia is to have a lot of friends, know more about the university, and to learn the culture and living here in Malaysia. Uh, this is the second. Before, before coming to Malaysia, I expect the spicy foods, Indian foods, and some other nice foods in this place. I also love eating spicy foods, and I appreciate it a lot. Uh, I am a friendly person and the most important thing things to me is the kindness of the people here which is very good and easy to communicate the mosques we've been through the mosque and Mr. Pison and Mr. Isad tell us about the norms and traditions of our Muslim people. Uh, I heard there is a lot of beautiful beaches here in Malaysia, but the days left is not enough to meet my expectations. <laughs> <laughs> Not 
Guatempurong. It's the best part of my experience here in Malaysia because of the adventure happens inside Aki. Impressive infrastructures. There is a lot of buildings and progressive infrastructure here in Malaysia. We went to Hil Hilti, Cryocord, and last night we went to Aeon Mall in Ipoh. Mm -hmm. The night market. Delicious. <laughs> uh, learning and we learn many things about your culture, traditions, and I love the students here because of their good attitude and very approachable. I had a wonderful and unforgettable stay here in New Tower, Malaysia. I am very lucky to be part of this exchange student program. And before I end up with this presentation, I would like to give my sincerest gratitude to my Dean, Dean Pasbo Badilla, and of course, especially to the Staff Director of Utah and Faculties. For this opportunity. Terima kasih. My student partner named Elaine, Consider now as a friend of mine. The view were breathtaking. The people were beautiful and kind. I enjoy every part of our activities here, especially the adventure in the cave. I would like to end my presentation with the famous tagline, Malaysia to Malaysia. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joan. Next, I would like to invite Joanne. Mr. Mark Chian Kadaniban. Our management, Mr. Faison, Mr. Quek, Faulty, Dean Pasu Badilla, uh, UTAR management also, <laughs> and lastly, the UTAR students and my colleagues. I'm very glad that I'm part of this student program in, in our university. This is a, oh, it's, a, it's an honor to because not all students can have this opportunity to be here in UTAR Malaysia. Thank you for that huh? opportunity. Why I joined this program? Why I joined this program in our university? Because first, I am political science student. We all know that in 2015, there be there are one ASEAN or the ASEAN economic community. A political science is not only studying state and government, but we also study economics. And as part of the economics. And the business is most likely sister. And my expectation here in Utah, Malaysia is first the culture. May uh, culture that may I gain more knowledge about your culture, especially may I use it as a political science student. And the the ones the station is the I I would. For, this is my first time to be traveled outside Manila, outside um, Philippines. So it's very fun for me because I love to travel. Mm -hmm. And the second one is the, uh, the third one is the, I want to have more friends outside the Philippines. So thank you for accommodating us. And last objective is to eat Malaysian food. Because <laughs> as you can see, I love eating. <laughs> and station. The Malaysia. Uh, you can see the Malaysian flag. That's the symbol I want to travel here in Malaysia. The Malaysian food. Because I love eating. 
<laughs> and the the crown jewel of the Malaysia, the Petronas Tower. And, the, and you can see the people raising, raising, raising their hand. It means culture. culture. Because just like in the Philippines, there, uh, Malaysia is also have many cultures just like us. And uh, you, you can see the entire student life. Thank you for Thank you for one week to be one of the student of the University of Abdul Rahman here in Kempar. So thank you very much. Did this university help me my expectation here in Malaysia? Definitely yes. Why? Why? Because. <laughs> <laughs> Why? This university helped me a lot. Why? Because first, when we arrived. On November 22 in Kuala Lumpur International Airport, Mr. Bison and Mr. Isad cater us very well. And the staff, especially the one, especially you, you, you both of you. <laughs> Thank you for accommodating us here in Malaysia. And the student to treat us and cater us here. And we play together. <laughs> Thank you for that experience, and you also, ma'am, thank you. And the expectation was when we traveled a lot, we learned a lot of soft skills, sir. Thank you for giving me a book. Thank you. And I will read it in the Philippines. Thank you. And, and the, 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 cave, the cave that we explored yesterday, that was amazing. Amazing. <laughs> and that's the end of my presentation. Terima kasih, melihat anda tidak lama. Miss you. This is the last time we met. I'm sure we'll meet soon. Thank you very much, my new friend. I miss you too. See you soon. See you soon. See you soon. Thank you, Mr. Mark, for a very entertaining presentation. Next, I want to invite Mr. Mikhail and Yola Cortez. I like this one. <laughs> To our beloved Dean, Dean Fasco Badilia, to Mr. Quick, to Mr. Izad, to Mr. Paison, to other youth staffs, other professors, to the students of UTAR, to the members of Business and Administration Society, and to my fellow Invergans, good afternoon to all of you. Reasons for visiting University of Tung Tungku Abdul Rahman. The only reason I I went here is to see the culture and how people in Malaysia do their studies. My expect expectations in Malaysia. There is only three expect expectations. Good food, new friends, <laughs> and good shopping malls. <laughs> when, it when it comes to good food, apparently, I'm very thankful because in the Philippines, you can eat for six days, all for free. Thank you, sir. To new friends, upon checking my Facebook, this morning, I've already got one new friend request from Malaysia. <laughs> but, but she's not here, Miss Elaine. You're, yeah. Good shopping malls. And it's very awesome because of the cheap prices, but, but good quality. Did this university help me meet my expectations? I'm sorry guys, but it's not. 
beyond. Because you do more than what I am expecting. Wow. Thank you very much. <laughs> and today, June 27, 2014, will be one, if not the most memorable moment in my life. Because I've just fin finished a study tour program in this university. Again, thank you very much and God bless. Thank you, Mr. Kyo. Next, I would like to invite Ms. Rachel for her presentation. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Rachel Rabelas from the College of Architecture and Fine Arts. Well, I'm a senior student now. Student now. So, study and cultural tour in Malaysia. Well, as you can see at the picture, it's a friendship between Malaysia and the Philippines, and the UTAR and our school, uh, Manuel Sandberg University Foundation. So, I would like to sh uh, share you my objectives before I came here. So, the reason why I really like to attend the cultural learning and exploration trip camp can be summarized into mainly two reasons. First is to enhance myself, and second is to apply the knowledge that I will learn from it to my own country. In my situation, as a senior college student, I know that I have a limited capacity on what I can give for the, my community since I myself needs help too. By attending the camp or this trip, I know that I can learn to think how the, how the way the other countries think too. The way on how they solve problems in their own place. By attending the camp or the trip, I know that it will build my confidence to lead my country and set a new example when I get home. I want to introduce the values of great people and apply it in our, in our own. And I want to make a sustainable solution for our problem and create positive impact in my own country. So it is an honor and pleasure to be one of the delegates in this trip. And I know that it is not only the knowledge and the skills are things that I've gained here. More than that is the relationship and friendship that we establish with every participant. Learning everyone's culture is important. For me, this teaches also how to love and respect other points of view and make world peace. So, thank you so much again uh, to the people who cater us very well here, especially Sir Faisal, uh, Sir Isad, our Dean Ch uh, Chang, and of course our own Dean in Mendoza University, uh, Dean Pass and the other students here. Thank you so much for catering us very well. So again, well, thank you so much and you are for, for exceeding my expectations. So thank you, God bless us all, good luck and love you. Thank you, Rachel. Next, I would like to invite Ms. Sheena. <laughs> You were a child. Oh, very so sad. So, good afternoon. Uh, may, uh, I'm Shina Marie Mindanao from Madwell Attenberg University Foundation, fourth year student, so ba skilled. Bachelor of Science in Business oh, Administration, Major yeah. in Management Accounting. So, last year I was there when your students went in our school. I, I'm one of the committee in, in our school and I'm, I am persuaded to get here because of them. So cultural learning and exploration trip. It's my objective is <coughs> is to meet new friends and the uh, friends last year uh, we, I will met also here and to be seated in the room with your other students and, and know how they are being taught in lectures or lessons, know the culture here in Malaysia. That's the
things that I am expecting that I would learn. So the reality is here are the interaction with the students, the seminars or workshop that we had last the last two last week last days and they taught me a lot of things in that will help me in my in my course in when I go to corporate world and the culture and exploration tour here in Malaysia like in the picture we are we go to an mosque the prior court the food here we 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 ate and the uh, adventure in Guatemala, the healthy and the uh, battery <laughs> and the the we also went to night market and the uh, other uh, foods like uh, Chinese foods and Indian Malay and the. Uh, uh, we go also to Palace. Terima kasih. This is the end for the students' presentation on their study tour. Next, we will move on to the presentations of their performance. <laughs> Just to tell you something about our dress. Uh, the, in, in the Philippines, usually during formal occasion, we have that kind of dress, we call it Barok Tagalo. So we have so, uh, different variations, so it's made of, of pussy, uh, and then uh, we usually have it hand embroidered like... Uh, yeah. So we have the variation, it is hand embroidered. Then, uh, we have also other, uh, all over we can have it cream or we can have it uh, black. So in the Philippines, we have Taal and Lumban, part of Laguna, who specializes in uh, making uh, hand embroidered balloons. Or, or in my case, uh, this is our uh, uniform, formal uniform of the school. So this is, uh, or this is machine embroidered. And for the for the girls, of course, we have this uh, same semi uh, Maria Clara. Uh, of course, uh, we have more elaborate ones. Since the Philippines is colonized by Spain, so most of our uh, the, the way we dress by influenced by Spain. But of course, uh, now modern times, uh, we do not usually uh, wear this kind of clothing. But we use it in uh, during uh, dance presentation. So we have different kinds of dances, and in which uh, we have different uh, costumes and different variation of this uh, Maria Clara. Now they will be rendering a, a song, a, a nationalistic song, and then uh, another verse. Uh, Rachel will also be rendering. Thank you, Professor Lin Pass, for her explanation. Okay, basically, our MSUM delegates will, both, will have two performances. Okay, first performance, all of them are going to sing a song known as Daki Lang Daki, which basically translates as a great nation or a great rest.
Oh. 
sum up the song as uh, one's love of country. Ang uh, ng lahi, uh, it means a great race. And we believe that Filipinos are a great race, and also the Filipinos, but also Malaysians, since we are brothers. So that's the, the essence of the of the song. One's love for a race or her family. Then we will have another uh, presentation by Rachel.
Thank you very much, our MSUM delegates. I can sum up their performance as a great performance. Don't you agree? Next, we will come to the highlight for today. This is where the, present, the presentation of certificate. Okay? First of all, I would like to invite Mr. Faisal. Mr. Faisal, the head of department for Center for Extension Education. Mr. Faisal will present the certificate okay, to the delegates for, of MSUF. First of all, I'd like to invite Miss Anna. Please come in front. Professor Chong to give out the to give out the following certificates. Mr. Miguel Angelo. Miss Rachel. Of course, Professor Tas. invite once again Professor D. Pass to have a short introduction of Quezon. So uh, it is now the uh, this September, it is now the turn of your school, you start to send your students to the Philippines. And uh, we have here some uh, video presentation of what you're going to, to do. Of course, as uh, last, say last, the same last year, we have the, uh, the visit to the Banco Central ng Pilipinas because uh, I know you're, uh, you 
have your uh, finance program. So I have uh, with me some brochure of the Banco Central ng Pilipinas. And then also we have the Philippine visit to the Philippine Stock Exchange. And then of course for your uh, cultural tour, uh, we have here since and Berkeley University is in Lucena City and Lucena City is part of Quezon Province. That's why uh, we have this. <laughs> All these and more are you in the province down south of the zone, filled with natural resources. Quezon Province, the eighth largest province in the Philippines, is located in the Calabarzon region. Quezon is home to colorful festivals, rich cultures and traditions, heritage, and distinctive native arts and crafts. Discover, come and see for yourself the limitless wonders of Quezon Province and keep on coming back from the war. It's more fun here. Tara na sa Quezon. This is the short version of uh, the, the video for the Quezon Tourism. And for this, uh, when you visit our school, we're going to tie it up with the um, uh, Quezon Tourism Office because one well, the uh, the head of that is was once my my student and I have talked to him initially so you will be visiting the different towns and in Quezon and you're going to experience the the culture like uh, last uh, year uh, they have visited the uh, the Batis Aramin and they have what you call, you have seen there, the Lambano, so that is the, the alcohol drinking in, in Quezon, because we know uh, here in Malaysia, alcohol is not uh, is prohibited. But that is just for the sake of uh, experiencing the, the culture. Uh, we have another, which is a uh, famous uh, festival in Quezon, the one that you have seen that the houses are being decorated. So that is what we call Sahiyas Sadukban. So it is uh, usually uh, held during May 15 in honor of the uh, our patron saint Saint Isidore, because uh, as I mentioned, uh, we were once a uh, Philippines was once a colony of Spain. So most of the festivals, uh, uh, the food, it was uh, with the Spanish influence. And so I am inviting the the students to uh, to visit us in the Philippines. And uh, initially, we have set the date. It will also be just the same, but uh, 22 to 28, but now uh, September. So September 22 to 28. And it is also in time with the activities in our uh, college. We have what we call the CBA Fiesta because our patron saint of the college is uh, St. Lorenzo Ruiz, and the Feast of St. Lorenzo Ruiz is September. Also, the College of Arts and Sciences will be having their uh, English festival so that uh, you will see uh, the, the different activities of the students uh, in, in our school. So I hope uh, you will visit our school in Kinder. Uh, lastly, we have some, uh, some giveaway or some materials. So I'll just uh, leave it to the office. So this is the, the brochure of the uh, Banco Central ng Pilipinas, which is, uh, of course, you know that 
it, it's engaged so, the, on, uh, with regard to the monetary uh, policy of uh, the Philippines. In Lucena City, we have the, uh, their, one of their projects is the Economic and uh, Financial Learning Program, where in which uh, there, we have a seminar, so we have a seminar with regard to all that. That's right, we have some brochure. Also, we have here the, uh, the map of Quezon, which uh, also has contained the, uh, the different, the discussion of the different uh, places. So this is a tourism material of Quezon province. And also the different, uh, Quezon is also famous for the uh, bayong, made of buri uh, or buli. And also we have that uh, pan for, from Padre Burgos, courtesy of uh, Mark Gian. <laughs> also my students, not only Mark, but the same <laughs> <seven> students. <laughs> so because we have the same climate, of course uh, you can just remove the plastic and then you can have this as, as a pamay pie or a pan. And also one, uh, a, uh, a native uh, handicraft uh, showing your, your calendar. It's made of wood, so from the Philippines. Thank you, Professor Dintas, for an informative information about uh, Quezon province. I hope that our students okay, will take this opportunity to apply for the for place in our upcoming study tour to Philippines in this coming September. Okay? Now we have come to the end okay, of this particular event. I would like to thank everyone, especially our guests of honors, Professor Chung, not to forget Mr. Faisal okay, for being here for this uh, one, around one and a half hours. Thank you very much. And can we have a group photo please? All right, so everyone please come in front.